Hello, sports fans and football fans and USFL fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. I'm here to recap last week's action in the USFL and then give you my picks for week four. But, you know, after week three, maybe you don't want my picks for week four because I got swept. I got swapped. Oh, and four this week. I got... I picked four games, got them all wrong. Now, I had a little help from the gamblers um, who decided that they were going to ice the kicker on the last field goal attempt of the game by the um, Tampa Bay Bandits. And, well, the Bandits missed that field goal, but they called a timeout to ice him, and it didn't work. Because the next time when they actually did the real kick, the Bandits kicker made the field goal. And the Bandits hung on to win that game 27 to 26. So that's how I got that one wrong. And yeah, my Panthers. My Panthers, I picked against them. You got to know that you don't do that. So anyway, yeah, I 0 4 this week, and that puts me at. A very dismal five and seven for the season so I got to try to claw my way back to 500 but anyway I digress let's take a look at some of the action from those four games
after that uh, drubbing that I took this week, let's take a look at the USFL standings so far. First, you got the North Division, and you got the Generals leading that at 2-1. and one. Followed by the Stars and the Panthers, both at 1-2, and two, and the Maulers picking up the rear at 0-3, having just lost to the Panthers. And the Panthers having gotten their first win of the year against them. In the South, you have the undefeated Stallions at 3-0, and oh, Birmingham on top of that division at 3-0. and oh, The Breakers and the Bandits, both at 2-1. and one. And the Gamblers picking up the rear at one and two. So with that, let's get into this week's picks. So let's get into the picks for next week. Now, admittedly, these picks should be easier to predict than last week's. Last week's, even going into the week, I was like, man, this is going to be tough. I just had no idea. But anyway, on uh, Friday, again this week, there will be a Friday game. Friday, May 6th, will be the Stars against the Panthers. And what did I say? Did I say I should stop picking against the Panthers? Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here, Stars. Yeah, let's go with the Panthers. We're going to pick the Panthers to win this game. And uh, hopefully they can. Although I did find out a very disturbing fact about the Panthers, and that is that the um, head coach doesn't carry a, uh, a Jeff Fisher, does not carry a kicker. He's only got a punter because he didn't want to waste a roster spot on a kicker. That's why they go for two after touchdowns. So, I mean, let's hope they can keep getting two points. But anyway, uh, that brings us to Saturday, May 7th, and there are two games on Saturday. And the first of those is the Generals against the Maulers. Remember, this is my version of the Maulers. I don't think it was the old Maulers helmet. I don't even remember what the old Maulers helmet looked like. But we're going to say that this is them. And uh, they're against the Generals. And in this game, the Maulers are 0-3. They're terrible. So we're going to go with the Generals. Take the Generals. Maybe you don't want to call the general for insurance, but you want to call him as the winner, winner, winning team in this game. So the other Saturday game, the next Saturday game on May 7th, will be at 7 p.m. By the way, that first game is at 2.30, and the Friday game is at 10 p.m. So if you can stay up late, hey, go for it. Um, but you got Tampa Bay and Birmingham, and in this one, I am going with the undefeated Birmingham Stallions. Yeah, until they give me a reason to show that they are not going to win a particular game, and really Tampa Bay, let's face it, has not looked all that great so far this year overall, um, I am going to probably keep picking Birmingham. They may actually be the favorite to win this whole thing. And that brings us to the final game, which will be on Sunday, May 8th. And this one is the Gamblers against the Breakers. And I am going to go with the Breakers in this one. Yeah, let's take the Breakers to win against the Gamblers. And uh, that's my picks. What do you think? You like them? Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Even if you think my picks are way off and I'm going to be 0-4 again. I mean, let's hope that doesn't happen. But, uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. doesn't cost you anything. And, hey, you get great content like this. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing out.